Hey guys, it's Ben. Uh, welcome back to Doom 3. I'm gonna say the. In the last part, we just. Well, we didn't cause the mayhem. Yeah, you may sometimes accidentally fire a bullet. <laughs> yeah, 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 I get it. Got it. Gosh. Yeah, this game is the jump scare game. Oh snap. Oh my gosh! Run! Squad leaders give sit rest. Over. <laughs> oh, so anyway, yeah, this game is a lot of jump scares. You'll notice that. There's a lot of times that. I'll just chuck something at you. Oh. You also notice that there is literally no recoil on this gun, despite the fact that it is just a regular pistol. Yeah. You can try whacking these guys, but I'm just gonna shoot them. Cause hey, it's the pistol. So anyway, yeah. So this game came out how many years after? The Probably about ten years after Doom Two. Uh, suddenly you had proper 3D technology as well as I'm gonna use that. Suddenly people had proper 3D. Three Bridge extension in okay. Yeah, suddenly you now have proper 3D. And in fact, by this stage, suddenly you had good engines that suddenly could do this stuff. Although consoles weren't really that able to do it. Until the Xbox. Oh. oh, by the way, the zombie thing was. Uh, these guys have guns. Flashlight is actually kind of. Kind of good. You okay? Nope. Guess not. PDA. Yeah. Um, yeah, so this game is a in the dark kind of game. If if in editing I notice that everything is so, is too dark, I I I will edit I, I I will edit it to be bright. So you guys will probably know that. Then turn to a zombie. I can't I don't know if I can crouch, but uh, who wants to listen to the PDA? I do. I don't. It's gonna take me out the next one. Whoa. This is chicken leg. Pull him up. That's a that's an arm. Oh, arm. Oh, snap. You got the shotgun. Everyone's favorite weapon. Ah, <laughs> uh, that's a med kit. Okay. Yeah. Jump scare. Yeah. The platform that moves down. Yup. Come back up. What do you see? Anyway, now we got a shotgun, but you'll notice that you will run out of ammo. You will run out of ammo kind of quickly in this game. So you gotta fall back to the pistol a lot. Uh, oh snap. It's got a flashlight. Yeah, he doesn't have, he's got brains. Ow. By the way, yeah, these these guys will have armor and whatnot. For some signs I think I should probably structure my shots better. Damn. Fire. Door. By the way, we are still in the same map, technically, that we were when we... Oh yeah, these are the... Those guys have fireballs. And also they take away persistent corpses. So yeah, that This is how it's like for someone playing, it's a game with Oh, snap. Yep, so they fire fireballs. But they die. Um, this is the game where 
the enemy pops out and goes the bloopy boop boop boop. Yeah, you guys know what I'm quoting. Oh, also, by the way, these are the health stations. They give you a certain amount of health, which they actually say on the screen, which is plus over Half Life, but hey, Half Life doesn't. Half Life doesn't really have you turn into sections, so. This game doesn't really have it that much as well. I missed it. Kinda got a little bit of something on the cheek. Oh, that was the thing I was on the floor. Ah! They'll pull that off. They will pull one of those off. They'll definitely pull one of those off. Do I have the code for that? Oh, maybe, maybe. Oh, snap. Snap. Oh. Yeah, you'll notice that. Okay, I think this guy will say it. This is the audio log of Frank Delahue, engineering manager assigned to power production, dated October 18, 2145. The current operational status of the grid is 23% over nominal capacity. I've increased work shifts to 12 hours a day for all people. The constant and increasing load from the Delta complex is causing havoc. We are going to start losing critical systems if we have to sustain units. these levels much longer. Uh, sure. I request clearance to requisition parts from other departments in order to maintain ID our equipment. Okay, I don't know what is going on over in Delta, but I'm doing all I can down here. The constant demands are bad enough that the rumors going around are making things a whole lot worse. And I gotta tell you, if things don't get better soon, all hell is gonna break loose. Okay, must be the next one. This is the audio log of Frank Delahue, engineering manager assigned to power production, dated October 24th, 2145. Reclamation problems continue to plague the main processor. Two more valve overloads on that unit in just the past week. These overloads can destroy the valves, causing very dangerous fire jetting with enough heat to incinerate sensitive equipment nearby. Today we've had only one reported injury as a result of these valve failures, and this is due in large Ow. part to the quick response of the engineering team. Our procedure of entering the failure code 842 in the operation terminal has proved adequate, and I recommend no changes in that procedure. 842. Really? Aww. What a disappointment. Can you see anything? Me neither. <laughs> okay. Help me. Okay. Oh. Help oh. me. Okay. I'll do that. Tell me where you are and where your house address is and possibly... Ah! It's kind of came out of the cracks there. Shoot it! Yeah, shotgun. <laughs> uh, get down from there! Ah! Maybe I shouldn't have put it there. <laughs> it's like, hey look, we have physics too. We don't have... Uh, a gravity gun, which apparently I heard someone say the gravity gun Half Life 2 is gimmicky. Ah, I jumped. Unable to secure safe transportation back to base. Over. Roger that fire team two. Fall back to the nearest station and set up a CT there. Out. Ah. Down from there. All right. Also, my armor is 101. I think it's because of the shards. Ooh. Oh, dude, it's like, oh, he takes a lot of hits. Okay, so maybe if I go through this door, huh. oh, I jumped. Yeah. This is Sergeant Kelly. Fall back to Marine yeah. and await further orders. You got a little bit of something on your face. Okay, we finally made it out of that map. Now we're in Mars City. Think of a good an anagram for that. Tar skimmy? Rat skimmy? Rat skimmy. All remaining Marine units. This is ah. Kelly. I am unable to reach Mars City from my current position. 
Okay, so yeah, this game basically plays like this. Alright, man. Hey, you. Up here. Quickly. I thought I was the only one still alive. I can't believe I found you. Something happened. I don't know what. It, it was like a shockwave. It, it passed through the entire base. People started changing. It was crazy. I, I was working up here on the vent shafts. I don't know how I survived. Go for help. Please. No way. I'm staying up here. It's the only safe place. <laughs> yeah. So. That's a shift. Holy snap, it's C. Oh, dang it. Someone mapped it Be to C. I don't know what's in There's there. a bit of armor. You were like, oh, someone was gonna jump out? Nope. Save that for a little bit later. Maybe we get the flash shot. Flash shot would be good. Totally not gonna fall down. Nope. There you go, fall down. <clears throat> Nothing there. <laughs> Got it. Yeah, that. Where'd you come from? It's kinda got a weak head. Okay. Who wants to listen to that? Yay! Because my dialogue isn't good enough. This is Mark Stanton. Manifest Control Mark currently Stanton. stationed at Mars City. Ow. I'm not sure who to send this to, so I decided to send it to quite a few people. If you're on the recipient list, please take a moment to review this report. It is quite important. I'm very wow. concerned over the shipping procedures out oh. here. Maybe a hitch I oh, am the snap. controller. Oh, snap. I'm not jamming I'm not I need to be away. informed of everything coming in and out of Mars City. Someone here is subverting my position and preventing me from getting data on things being shipped. This is unacceptable. Unacceptable! Only this castle on my upcoming is the most but this is my unacceptable job. I'm out of conditions! The Unacceptable! I have no idea who keeps telling the shipping crews no, to allow one to one, things hey, in and out without you. allowing me to... Oh yeah, that's one thing I don't think is up there. But whoever it is, it must my stop. Over. One of the dock workers actually told me to piss There's off when I tried carry. to stop one of the Stay last sharp, containers from going to the I can do that. Why are you actually filed a report and will follow up with the transit manager next time I see him. End of log. Yep. I'm not gonna play those that much anymore. Okay, I think I got the key. Therefore, I can open the door. Yeah, yo. Ow. I hate the guys with guns. Then again, if you play Doom, everyone fires projectiles. Except for the demons, but hey, we haven't gone to that stage yet. Yeah, that robot is like awesome. I love that robot. It's the best robot in the world. Too bad. We're not going that way. Yeah, thank you, lights going out. Touch him, and, touch him real quick and go. You got to touch him real quick and go. Is there one more? I think there is. There you go. Oh, you're kind of a, uh, kind of ahead of yourself. Yeah. <laughs> Just going in for melee. Save some ammo. Hey. Your flashlight is probably the strongest weapon of all. I just don't know what to do. What are these things? Ah. Get out of here! Get a little bit tubby. He's also got more health. I do get a lot of health though. So that's one thing. I always find myself saying, if I don't take that much damage, then he's not really that scary. See, like uh, in in Doom 2, or Doom 1, and then I should probably stop hitting control and crouch. Infirmary, there you go. Obviously the safest place. Give this guy a hand. Okay, okay, so there's gonna be like a little... PD, PDA, whatever, that will like tell me that what the key code here is. There you go. Remember, listening to audio logs may tell you that. Dr. Mark Casian, I have 
patient you can get web like half life. You can get some weapons earlier if you go through the side paths like an According to the nurse, Mr. Wills was calm and exhibited no signs of disorder when he was brought to exam room five. However, by the time I reached him at ten after four, his personality had changed dramatically. When I entered the room, Mr. Wills lunged at me with a scalpel he apparently stole from a supply drawer. With the assistance of an orderly, we managed to subdue and sedate him without injury. Mr. Wills was heavily medicated and could not be diagnosed, but in the 20 minutes he was left unattended, he managed to carve three symbols in his arm and oh. cut his own tongue into two halves. I, I can only guess at the cause of his problems. I hope that additional psychiatrists arrive soon. In the meantime, in response to this assault, all Ready? medical supplies and armaments will be locked in a secure hospital cabinet with the code 347. Yeah, you go. Sometimes it's just armor and stuff, but most of it's pretty handy if you if you spend the time listening to them. Ah! Ow! Gave me the slap, dude. Zombie gave me a slap. Oh snap! Get out of here. No. Bad. Medkit. Medkit is look like the rocket launcher from Unreal Tournament. So now I've got machine gun ammo, so I might as well use it. It's actually pretty good. The uh, machine gun. What? Oh, yeah. Oops. Uh, now the big question is, where do you go? Not that way, I guess. Um. So yeah, it's kind of weird. The machine gun, the ammo doesn't display in the ammo area. Oh, well, made it. Video link up requested. Connection established. Marine. I can't believe you're still alive. Yes. I'm unable to return to Mars City. All passages out of the Delta complex have been blocked. I'm setting up a command post here. I can monitor status reports of the entire base from Delta Central Authority and communicate with other Marine teams. It's your mission to link up with Bravo team and get that transmission sent. Head toward Alpha Labs. It's the fastest way to find them. I'll update your PDA security clearance from here. Good job. And good luck, Marine. Hey, here's the thing. Don't do the other end thing and just, you know, give me access to all the areas so I can at least live. Anyway, I'll see you guys next time on Let's Play Doom, Doom Cubed as, yes.